So you might be trying to figure out how you can share out large files on your iPhone. Now there's a few different ways to do this. The first way to do this is basically via AirDrop. So AirDrop is a way that you can share out large files or any files from your iPhone to any other Apple product that's kind of still recently supported with software. This includes iPhones, iPods, iPads, Macs, MacBook Airs, like you know, iMacs, anything like that at all. So if you're going from one device to the other, what you want to do is you can you know AirDrop a big file. So in this case, if we open up our Files app, let's say we wanted to go and share out some other file. Let's say we want to share out, let's just say this zip file. Let's say it was a really big zip file, which this one is not. We can go and, and or hold it that file down, go and click on Share, which is right here. And you want to find this AirDrop option. So you want to click on AirDrop, and you're going to be able to find this specific thing that will come up right here. Now when you do that, what's going to happen is a lot of these other devices are going to start populating. What you're going to want to do is you want to find the specific, you know, username or airdrop, you know, username, whatever, to the file you're, to the person you're trying to share to. So if I was trying to share something to this MacBook, I would go ahead and just tap on that MacBook right there. It would open up on my other Mac and I would go and click accept and then I will be able to get that file. Now, if you are trying to share it with a Windows person or whatever the case is and they're nearby, there are lots of other airdrop alternatives. So what you want to try doing, and if you're local to them, if you're far away, you can always update, upload the files to Google Drive or you know, iCloud or whatever you want to do. But one of my favorite other websites to use is basically snapdrop.net. Now this website comes and goes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you're within the same network, even if you're trying to share files between like a iPhone and an Android, for example, you want to make your way over to snapdrop.net to each of those specific devices. So each of those devices you want to go on you know, snapdrop.net just like how I did here, you should be able to see it on both. And what you can do is you can go ahead and basically come through onto the other device. You want to click on the phone. You can go and click on choose files and you should be able to choose that same file no matter the size of it. Again, if it's a bigger file, it's going to take some more time, but that's all you have to do. From here, you can go and click open and that file will now be changed or you know be brought over. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.